Hey guys, hello. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I primed and painted this 3D layered Detroit Lions logo. Show you kind of what I use and what my method is for, or, uh, for you know, having a nice finish. And uh, first things first, I have three layers here. Okay, quarter inch MDF. This will be the back layer. I know I cut this one out by mistake. I was supposed to cut the top layer out, but no big deal because it's gonna have the white layer over it. So this is, uh, I use this layer for filler primer, okay? So what I did first is I sanded the MDF down using a 220 grit sandpaper. You can get these uh, big sections at Home Depot, these lows, whatever. I just rip them off into small pieces and then I sand around the edges. So I, first I sanded it. I used my orbital uh, Ryobi sander to get everything in here. And then I did the uh, fine details with the, uh, you know, just by hand. So I sprayed this. Let it sit for a few minutes at a second coat. Let that sit overnight. Uh, you can let it dry for about an hour or two. I just let it dry for about 24 hours. I had other things to do. So, um, and then what I did was I went ahead and sanded everything down. And then I sprayed it again with the primer. Okay, and then I let it sit for about 10, 15, 20 minutes. And then, um, so now it'll be ready to, it'll be ready to paint. So notice how I don't really get too in depth on the middle of it because it's gonna be covered anyways. So that's the back layer. And then for the middle layer, this will be painted white. I like to use an aluminum primer or the clean metal primer for the like light colors like white or yellow. Uh, just because when you're painting, especially around the MDF on the edges, if you use a dark, darker primer like the gray, it doesn't, uh, the, the gray will show through the paint. So it's very hard to um, have that stick. So what I like to do is use a lighter colored primer when I'm using like spraying whites or anything like that. So, um, same, same process with this. I sanded it really good, and then I sprayed it real good, a couple coats, waited a few minutes, and then waited about 24 hours for it to dry. You can wait about an hour or two, and it should be fine, depending on humidity, temperature conditions, things like that. And then I sanded it really good, and then I just sprayed another, another layer. Again, I'm not too worried about spraying the inside of this, because it's gonna be covered by the top layer anyways, uh, when I paint it. Um, but, that's the middle layer, and then the top layer. I'm going to be painting the Detroit Lion with the gloss Brilliant Blue from Rust-Oleum. These paints work really well. You want to make sure you shake them really good, especially the 2X cans because they do have the primer that's mixed in with it. Sometimes the primer will come out in the paint, so you want to make sure it's mixed really well for a couple minutes. Um, try test spraying it on another piece to make sure it comes out right because sometimes the sprayers clog or whatever. And then for little pieces that you're painting, I would like to put a little bit of painter's tape on it so it doesn't fly around when you're painting it depending on what method you're using okay so then I'll show you top layer is just ready for paint spray a couple make sure it's spraying good Depending on what it is, like especially MDF, I like to get the sides first, just so you don't have a ton of buildup around the top. And then for any kind of like inner pieces, inner cut pieces like this, that are in the middle, you can always hit it from the back so that it doesn't glob up on top. I'll just move this around. And then you wanna make sure you keep turning it around to get the best possible angles. Especially like these tricky pieces inside here. And the tail, you always wanna make sure you're turning it, hitting it from different angles. Always do light coats first, and if you have to go over another coat, that's totally fine. Um, so now coverage is looking pretty good. Okay, it's not perfect, but I'm gonna do one more layer to get everything, I just don't wanna do too much at once. So I'll do a second layer of that. So far it's looking pretty good. And then again, I'll, I'll wait a few minutes and then I'll go over it again. And then uh, maybe two, sometimes three coats, depending on what it is and what color you're using, what type of finish. This is a half inch birch plywood. It takes a little bit more detail to cut this out. Um, it frays a lot, especially around the edges, depending on what blades you're using for the scroll saw. But uh, other than that, I'm gonna paint this one black. And then this, of course, will be white. And it'll be a three-layered logo. So thanks for watching, and then uh, look forward to more videos. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.